Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is RJ. So today we're dropping into the contract miner. We're going to be checking out how our account is doing. We're also going to be taking a look at some updates that have been added to the platform. So keep watching. Hey guys, RJ here and welcome to another video. And remember, if this is your first time visiting my channel and you want to learn more about how to earn cryptocurrency for free, about cloud mining sites, crypto investments, and lots of other crypto related stuff, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to tag that notification bell so you're alerted to all my latest content as it comes online. Okay, so here we are in my contract miner account and there has been a few changes. So the last time we were in here was three weeks ago. So three weeks ago, we were at level 44. You can still see we are at level 44, but we were only about a third of the way through our um, completion of that. We're now getting close to about halfway. Also, you know, as you guys know, with a lot of my programs, I do do the bare minimum. Uh, and I'll be the first one to admit to that. As I've mentioned in my recent Lara or Fawcett, a lot of this comes down to time. So if there's so, like a, a sort of minimum I can do on the site, which will still continue to push my account forward, then that is what I'll do. And I will use then the time I save on that site somewhere on another site that requires more of my time. And that is how I work it. So some of these programs, you see that my progression can be quite slow. But the main thing is that the account is always moving forward. And that is something that you should always be mindful of. Always be pushing your account forward. Because a lot of these sites do have leaderboards. And the higher you are up on leaderboards mean that you are actually earning more coins. So again, like I say, just keep that in mind. Okay, so before we get into uh, some of the changes and uh, other things that have been added by the developer, which I think is a big step forward, and I hope you guys really appreciate it, we're just going to quickly go and claim my RP. So always make sure you're doing this. Um, you should always as well be making sure you are claiming the bonus reward points now your bonus reward points gets given to you every 24 hours and that is from when you first claim it in the sense of so if you claim it in the morning the next time it will be there or ready for you to claim is the following morning 24 hours later i have a tendency of claiming a lot of my stuff later on in the day so I get my bonus RP about eight o'clock, nine o'clock in the evening. So, but still, you should be coming in regularly and claiming this RP, which I believe comes to you every 15 minutes. Uh, and that will obviously aid you in getting some of those bonus timed mega hashes, those bonus power. Uh, is it power units or power? cells or something like that you can see here basically just through claiming that free bonus rp which i think is uh, what is it 3500 or something like that every 24 hours and then you get then claiming your rp every 15 minutes you can see here i've got like over 3 million reward points which i use uh and spend on my bonus timed mega ash now what does that do that basically boosts the amount of mining power that is available in your account and basically if you click on spend rp but before we do that we'll quickly look check where we are on the leaderboard so you can see here we are in sixth place we were in fifth place yesterday uh but uh baruchia i'm not sure how to pronounce that but I think it's a Baruchia or Baruchia. Uh, I keep swapping places with this person. So what we can do is, I know I have shown this in my last video, uh, is we can go in here and spend some of that uh, those reward points. 
and what we're going to do is we're going to claim ourselves one of these uh, because obviously we have plenty of reward points available to us so we'll just claim one of those and then go back to the leaderboard and we might have jumped above that person yeah there we go we're into fifth place obviously i could claim a lot more of those but for some weird reason i just like to claim enough just to, you know so i've always got a bit of a stock of my reward points i like to have plenty of reward points there so you know if for some weird reason uh, i don't get onto the site uh, and i do drop down the leaderboard uh, quite considerably uh, I can then sort of buy a few of those that do last about a week, about five days they last. And then you can, you know, you can keep, make sure that you're back into that top five or whatever, wherever I want to be. So I always like to have a nice stock of those. But like I say, if you're doing that, the claim RP every 15 minutes and you're remembering to get those bonus RP, you will soon build up your reward points to a good level where you can do that and start moving yourself up that leaderboard even if you don't have a huge amount of actual physical miners in your account so just remember like i say reward points are really important in that sense okay so the other thing is that i've been doing and i did mention again this in my recent video is i am making sure that i'm stocking this right up to the maximum which is about 218 220 power units uh, and that then gets me through 24 hours so then what i can do is when i'm out if i've got to go into uh, work to the office um i can then you know it doesn't matter if i get up at six o'clock in the morning i've not got to worry about making sure that my power cell are topped up uh, for it to, to for it to run through the rest of the day basically by keeping that fully topped up every 24 hours you know i can i can just make sure i only ever top it up in the evenings which is a big bonus i used to do it twice a day and then i've realized that the advantage of only doing it once a day is actually it's really good so that you know another tip for you you know if you're doing it twice a day so you're topping up in the morning halfway and then you're topping up again in the evening it is good because it does remind you to come back onto the site at least twice a day to claim a few things and top up your power that's sort of what my mindset was but i've found that if you're a busy person like i i have become uh you know the more and um the more my youtube channel builds i'm just fine i'm getting less and less time so again anything i can do to sort of just mean that I don't have to log into a site you know on a particular day because i know it's taken care of for that for me that that one thing keeping that topped up uh to the max every 24 hours is really uh really helpful to me okay so one thing i want to get into uh and i really want to praise the developer for this is that they have finally this is something that got talked about quite a long time ago but they have finally started to introduce events to the site now i did send uh, the developer uh i regularly talk to the developer uh and he, they are always very very helpful very sort of uh forthright with information very transparent with things that they're looking to do obviously i can't always bring you everything that i talk about with the developer because sometimes uh he wants to just keep it under wraps a bit you know um be a bit of a surprise for you guys um but you know they, they are always very open with me and uh but unfortunately today obviously being the weekend he's spending time with his family and stuff like that and he did not reply to my message but one of the things i asked in that message was are these events going to be ongoing throughout the year so will we get more throughout the year or was it just a special one for new years i did not get a reply to that like i said but i'm really hoping that different events might get brought uh you know like roller coin do so like for say fourth of july or say for thanksgiving or you know other things that are you know quite big events throughout the the year the the developer of 
contract minor might well do little events such as this uh, for those particular dates or any particular special date that the developer has decided they want to do an event for or even you know maybe it might not be a date it might be something else but it would be great if we do get more of these events and also what i like about this is this was sort this is sort of like an advent calendar as what roller coin used to do obviously this was for new years and 12 days after new years but everything here is completely free which is how roller coin used to do their advent calendars so basically you'd open up a day and you got something free now this year roller coin seem to think it's a good way rather than just giving a nice gift you know uh, as just basically being an offers wall really basically that's what it's turned out to be is be you know an offer wall it's not an advent calendar as far as i'm concerned uh, in the traditional sense of an advent calendar of basically getting something uh, as a gift but basically just giving you the opportunity to buy something if you want to you know which i think sort of roller coin has missed the mark on that but the but uh contract miner all dues to uh the developer they've given us some really really great rewards and there is still time for you guys out there and if you don't know a lot about contract miner uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a link in the description to an earlier review now that's going to give you a lot more information and a, lot, a much better understanding of what you've got to do to get your accounts up and running and earn yourself some free crypto. But like I say, you know, you can also get some of these free gifts as well, uh, which is going to be a great start to your account. And if you go right the way through to the end of this video, that link will be there also. So you can just click straight on it and get watching. But like I say, the developer, I mean, they are giving you, look here, right here, right? If you have not got an account right now, you can come and claim from now. So today is the 7th up until the 9th of this month. You can claim a free S5 Ant Miner completely free. Now, I'm not going to claim this just yet, but what I want to show you is what that actually gives you. If we drop into the shop. scroll down here you go s5 that's going to give you 10,000 mega hashes of mining power completely free normally it would cost you 43,694 cmci from the shop but to qualify to get it from the shop you must be at level 102 so until you got there i can't even get that from the shop because i'm on level 44 and they very rarely come up on the market so this is a great opportunity for you to get your hands on some really really good mining hardware for your account over the next couple of days so get signing up i you know i don't normally really push it for you guys to sign up you know i say obviously check it out if you like it then sign up but this is going to give you a great opportunity and then we've we've still got day 10 to 12 to claim another reward which obviously is a big mystery at the moment so i'm going to claim mine so there you go that is mine so i had 23 miners in my account if we drop into my miners here we should show 24 now i believe uh where are we looking so okay so here is the one we've just claimed so there you go ant miner s5 10,000 mega ashes it will use up 12.57 power units per day and if we move that to our active property that's going to add another 10,000 mega ashes to our power so we're going to move that okay so that is if we drop into the leaderboard has that moved us up the leaderboard at all no 
but obviously we've got we're getting closer to uh, I mean what's that seven thousand two hundred fifty you see if we now see if we go spend and we get another one of them we could be at level at number four in the leaderboard here we go we're actually up to third we actually up to third place in the leaderboard because we claimed our S5 and then we added some more power using our reward points and that's actually bumped us up to third place. Obviously, you know, this person here is very close to us and I'm sure they probably won't be happy that we're now, we've now overtaken them and they might well jump ahead of us by using their reward points. But like I say, you know, We've just got a free miner for 10,000 mega ashes. I can't, you know, to be honest with you, it sounds ridiculous. I keep repeating it. You know, anyone would think I've just won a million dollars on the lottery, the way I'm going on about this. But the thing is, is even with, you know, places like Rollercoin, they don't give, you know, if they're giving you a free miner, they're not giving you one with that kind of power. So, like I say, all dues to the developer of contract miner for giving such great rewards i mean the first one gave two hundred and fifty thousand reward points second one gave a fifty thousand timed mega hash that would last three days we've just got ten thousand mega hashes which is yours indefinitely that's the other thing you've got to remember because that is a miner not any of the sort of uh, boosts that will be in your account permanently once you have claimed that. And then obviously we will have to see what we get from the 10th to the 12th. So like I say, make sure if this is something, you know, like a, a basically mining simulator uh, program is the kind of programs you like to get involved with and you're not signed up to it, make sure you get in quick so you can get these this free miner and obviously your next prize as well okay so the next thing that we uh that we talked about in our last video was the removal of the d the d coins so do you remember it was like you had uh, btcd ltcd you had doge d uh, basically everything sort of the developer had sort of connected with the dollar uh, in a sense creating a stable coin from a coin that was not stable and the reason for that is basically because of massive fluctuations um, and things sort of just being a bit all over the place when it came to um, the withdrawals and the coins that uh, were on the site and stuff like that basically you know he what he wanted to do was create some kind of stability uh to withdrawals and things like that but i think from um you know chats with members and stuff like that he's now looking to reintroduce real crypto so in sent instead of a sort of each coin was worth a set amount and when and basically then you uh you sort of exchanged it and then so let's say you got 50,000 in BTCD when you exchanged it you would get whatever it was but in real BTC so if we look now we go disconnect uh, and then we come down here we have obviously CMC version 2 but we now have here crypto pools LTC testing once that is completed uh, that testing is complete the next one i believe that will be added will be btc testing uh, and then so on and so on and gradually uh, they will add uh, more basically test all the coins to the point where they're happy with that and then all are basically the ltcd will uh, go the btcd will go and they will be added uh, and I believe that obviously other coins, uh, I'm, I think the other coins will be coming back. So things like BNB and stuff like that will be coming back as crypto. But at the moment, it's just a case of testing 
the LTC and the BT, uh, BTC uh, to the point where they're happy with how they're working. And then I believe the other coins will be coming back. Uh, but don't quote me on that. But I'm fairly certain that is right, that certain coins, the other coins will be coming back. Uh, but as crypto. So the other thing as well is that there is good news for faucet pay users now in the last video i did lean i basically did say that the um the developer had decided to do away with faucet pay uh but with the release of my video and i think maybe after watching that uh, which I know that the developer did uh, and was very uh, pra praised my video quite a lot, uh, which obviously is always nice to hear that from developers. But I think when they watched it and maybe reading uh, some of your posts, the good news is that the developer is looking to keep faucet pay, but probably only for BTC. Now, personally, what I would like to see, and obviously this is just basically my opinion, is I would like to see Faucet Pay be used for BTC as well as BNB. Only those two coins. Uh, the reason why the developer wants to stick to just BTC is basically simplicity. So, it basically, there's lots, less complication and they know that if all Faucet Pay withdrawals will be in BTC. That is basically uh, what they said, is it's a case of simplicity. And for me, that is better than nothing. But like I say, the, the only other coin I would like to be added to Faucet Pay withdrawals is BNB. Uh, basically, uh, purely a bit selfishly, is I, uh, uh, I collect a lot of BNB in my Faucet Pay for various uh, different reasons. Uh, so many sites now are using BNB. And when it comes to like, if you want to sort of um, invest into uh, a website uh, and or, you know, for um, basically, if you want to invest into a website, get my teeth in uh, in BNB, I always tend to find that Fossif Pay is such a fast uh, way to send uh, coins back and forth. Uh, and like I say, I, I do use BNB and, I, and you guys would have heard me on a lot of my videos is that I really like the coin. Uh, so like I say, that is the only the only sort of uh, difference I would go with is I would like to see that as well be added to faucet pay withdrawals is BTC and BNB. But like I say, even if it was just BTC, I feel that that is actually better than nothing. Uh, so like I say. The event that is going on right now, you guys really need to get in on and grab those Ant Miner S5s as soon as you can. So I'm going to leave that there. If you are interested in that video that I talked about, it's probably on your screen right now. So get clicking and get watching. And if you can smash that like button, it really, really, really does support my channel, which then helps me make more content to help you. So take care. Have a great rest of your week and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.